I am so excited for this video. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? Hi, if you're watching this. I feel like small businesses have really blown up since COVID started um, and like supporting local has become more of a thing. I've been seeing so many Instagram boutiques, Instagram little like stores pop up and I just wanted to try some of them out and hopefully tell you guys about some of them if you're interested. I think supporting smaller businesses is awesome and I've been finding some really, really good ones throughout this journey. So I'm doing this so you don't have to. Hopefully this helps if you've been looking at small businesses. Let's just get into it. I have a ton of different categories here. I literally have swim, skincare, fashion, but without further ado, I was making a YouTube video so weird. I tried to do those bubble braids today. I don't know if you can even see it. It's right here. They're kind of cute. They're kind of there. Without further ado, let's get into trying small businesses on Instagram. I think we're gonna start with jewelry. I have one jewelry business, and they're called Nominal. This was so cute. I'm already gonna tell you that I have opened it. First of all, it says Happy Valentine's Day. I think that's really, really cute. I'm gonna say cute so many times in this video, and I wish I had a different word to describe things. Let's open it up. Okay, the packaging is so cute. Comes with cute little stickers, I think, and then all of the jewelry is packaged in these cute little bags that you can keep and store the jewelry in. This also like feels like it would be really good for travel. I'm going to Hawaii later this year, if you don't know already. So this is gonna be really, really helpful to carry a little jewelry in. Let's get to opening. So, First thing they sent me is this gold chain. I'm super excited to try this out. Uh, I don't know if I should open it right now. Okay. Really? Okay, so, we have a lot. Yeah, there's videos I kind of have to, oh. All right, so, oh, this is really, really cute. So it's just this little chain. It's kind of like a thicker chain, which I really like because I have a lot of like dainty necklaces. Thicker chains could look cute. If you wear a lot of gold, I feel like this will look cute on you. I don't typically wear a lot of gold jewelry, so it's kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit, but I still think it's really cute. I'm more of a silver or rose gold kind of gal. I also have to be careful with companies that sell jewelry because I my skin like just naturally reacts to a lot of jewelry, so I have to be very, very careful with what I use. They also sent me a few other rings and such. I got like three rings, which are really, really cute. They're all gold jewelry, so depends if you like gold or not. They sent me a few other little rings, some butterfly earrings, and then a butterfly necklace and bracelet. I don't know if they have silver jewelry. I have not checked. Okay, I think the next category we're gonna go into is swim because I really like the, the swimwear company. I wanted to get some cool prints um, to kind of try out. You guys, these prints are so cute. This is from Kulani's Kinis. They also sent me the cutest little note to go with it, which I really appreciate when things are personalized. We have some pink and red prints, teal and orange print bikini. And lastly, we have some kind of like orangey, brownish, very neutral shade bikini. I already tried on one of them and I really, really liked it. The problem I have with local businesses, I never know what sizes to get sometimes. Next up on the docket, we have one of my favorite small clothing brand businesses. It's called Dom and Luna. First, we got these jeans. Hey. I really like straight leg jeans and I've only had the ones from American Eagle that are super skinny that I don't fit into anymore in my closet. Really big fan of Hollister jeans too though. I just like how it has a lot of room for the ankle. I don't like to feel constricted into my jeans at the bottom, like a little funnel. Leather pants. We DM'd her on Valentine's Day. So something that she sent me that is so cute is this red, is it backwards? No. This red dress, which I feel like is killer. Like so pretty, like you could definitely like look all spicy in it. But more on my style of like neutrals and pops of color is this dress. So pretty. I'm a bandwagoner, so the fact that brown's really popular right now is really like hitting this off with me. I think this color is so pretty. It's such a pretty deep, cocoa-y neutral shade and I really, really like it. I have not tried it on yet though, so that's kind of scary. Why do I look like a bobblehead? This dress is so cute. One of the tops she sent me was this one, which is just this little like 
I would say kind of looks like those corset tops that are really popular right now. Kind of a risky shirt for me. Um, I'll show you why, but yeah, it's just really cute and I like it a lot. A nice and thick for a white shirt, which is key when you're wearing white is to have it be a thick shirt, just so you know. You don't want anything poking through, seeing through. You don't want any surprises. So it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And then from 650 Clothing, which is just really cute for like loungewear sets is what I got from them. So I got this really cute tie-dye blue loungewear set. I really like it. And this like gray little loungewear set, which this one's so soft and it has like an off the shoulder neckline and I'm a big sucker for soft clothing. Lastly, I don't know if this is pronounced Tadams or T Adams and Co. I've been saying T Adams and Co. So I hope I'm right. It's a little boutique on Instagram. They sent me two little tops. Sorry if I'm like struggling here. They sent me this brown crop top with like the ties on the side. Bandos are really hard for me to wear because they don't have a lot of support. I think like if you are a smaller girl, then it will work for you if you know what I mean. And then they sent me this top, which I don't know how to wear yet because I haven't tried it on. This is so cute, but I really, really like the color. It's like a lime neutrally shade. It has a tie in the back, but I'm not sure how to wear it yet. Skincare. Okay. So the skincare brand that sent me a few things is called Coco Kine on Instagram. I will put a picture of the box when it came in here because it was very cute. Some of these things I have tried out, some of them I haven't. So some will be unboxed and some will just be by opinion. First of all, um, they sent me this, which is a My Matcha All Over Moisture Stick. This is such a cool idea. I know matcha is like really popular right now. I don't personally drink matcha, but I know a lot of people do. So if you're a matcha drinker, you'll probably love this. It smells like coconut oil. I think that's what's in it. So it says beeswax, coconut oil, and matcha. I love how the ingredients are so clean. There's not like a million chemicals in the ingredients list. That's something I personally look for. So this is what it looks like. And you can use this like wherever you want, basically. Under your eyes, you can use it on your face, on your lips. It's really just for moisture. I used it yesterday and my skin was hydrated for the rest of the night. I am not kidding. I mean, that would make sense. There's coconut oil in it and beeswax so it's very moisturizing this is the resurfacing sleep mask which i have not opened yet okay. ah, yay i really like i really like when brands include something to apply the product with that's something that i look for personally so yay it says apply an even layer to skin clear of eyes and lips leave on overnight oh my gosh this almost got all over my bed <laughs> it smells really refreshing. I really like smells like this for nighttime that aren't too sweet. Um, it looks like a jelly kind of consistency. Yeah, I've never tried it, but I'm sure it would be very, very hydrating. I think it's more of like a moisturizing mask than like an actual face face mask. Next up is their oil to milk cleanser, which I have also not tried yet. It looks really cute and I, I love the packaging of their products. It's free of toxins, fillers, artificial colors, artificial fragrances, parabens, phthalates, if I said that right, which is like all the bad stuff. Oh! It's like a little bottle. I thought I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Very cute. I just want to smell it. Okay, I really like the smells from this brand. It's like minty. Oh, it's like when you walk into a soap store, but it's not like overly sweet. When I was a teenager, I would buy anything that's like bubblegum scented, like sugar scented, like all these sweet, sweet smells. And this one is just a bit more refreshing and clean. It smells clean and it smells a little bit minty. This is an oil to milk cleanser, which sounds really intriguing because I've never understood cleansers that like change consistencies while you're using them. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll let you know my stories, like how they go when I use them. Chlorophyll mask, detoxifying facial treatment for purified skin. They give you another spatula. Thank God. I'm just gonna open this because I'm really, really curious of what it looks like. I think it's gonna be drippy again, like the last one. Oh, oh, <laughs> this smells so herbal. Mix with equal parts of water and then put it on your face. That's why I was gonna say, this is just straight powder. Again, I just really like the packaging. Lastly, we have a texture smoothing cream and I kind of just want to figure out like what the consistency is like. Sealed for your protection. I like that. I just want to try the consistency. So it's thick, but not too thick. This one smells really good. This one smells a lot like aloe and like a fresh hotel room. 
if that made sense. It smells really good. It smells like you just took a shower in a hotel after going in the pool and you feel clean because you're using that hotel soap. Something I actually been needing is an SPF lotion because uh, I don't protect my skin from the sun and I know Hiram would come at me for that. This is just a daily SPF sunscreen lotion. Maybe it doesn't have a smell. That's what it looks like. It doesn't really have a smell, which it could be good because sometimes you don't want scented moisturizer on your face. Fragrances aren't the best, so I actually like that. Maybe it's natural. And it has like a little explanation. Hi there. Did you know that blue light penetrates even deeper into the skin than UV rays do or that solar rays have blue light in them as well? That's why it's so important to wear light protection every single day, whether you're indoors or outdoors. And then also what they sent was so cute. There's a few highlighters with it. Ooh, these have jojoba oil, mango butter, and chaga, chaga. And they have really cute names. We have chaga glow. I hope it's called chaga. I really don't know. It says to twist it off, but I don't feel, oh, that is what you do. Skin nourishing highlighter. I like that it has like skincare ingredients in the highlighter. Highlighter. Okay, it's not that dark. It's actually really really pretty just like a little bronzy glow I actually like that. It doesn't really have a smell. It smells a bit like waxy I would say uh, this one's called my light rose skin highlighter. See this is more me I think I would be way more into the rose skin one so pretty my cup of tea more pink toned has a nice shine to it and these are not sparkly which i don't like in highlighters i don't like when they're super super glittery I like everything to be very natural sunray which is also a really cute name oh this one's interesting it's a bit like green tinted i would say maybe it's just yellow and i'm bugging out this one is more pigmented than the other ones for sure or maybe it's just that it's lighter it is showing up today third one. Oh, that's definitely more pigmented it's just yellow i don't know why i said green tinted but there's a lot of pretty colors and i feel like this would be really fun to play with the yellow is very golden i feel like you could do like a cool festival look with that if we ever have festivals ever again and i'm honestly just gonna rub it into my skin because it said it had oils in it which is like lotion next brand i wanted to talk about is called kick ass workouts their stuff has really been keeping me happy lately that sounds so weird. I've been looking for like a Lulu dupe for the longest time because homegirl's not trying to spend $98 on leggings. She's not. There's a lot of good dupes online, but I'm always too scared to buy them and try them out because I'm scared of them being too thin and I really don't like thin leggings. Quite a few leggings and they also sent me some workout gear, which was really cute. But yeah, these lilac leggings are to die for. I never really wear like that much color, but when I do, it's with workout clothes because I think workout clothes are like my creative outlet when it comes to fashion. So we got some lilac leggings. Then they sent me some plain black. I don't know if it's, oh, they sent me biker shorts. So cute. I wore these while working out the other day and they really sucked my tummy in, which I love. I love when they can really just, these are really cute because they're ribbed and they have like some different types of detailing on them. Super cute with even like regular clothes because it's more of like a regular everyday ribbed material. And then there's a few little workout tops that they sent me. I'm just gonna show you guys the black one, but they also sent me a pink version. Here's the black one. It just has some mesh in the back, which I, I like that a lot because it gives your body room to breathe and it's super supportive. One of my favorite things that Kick-Ass Workouts sent me was this mat because it's so cute and I've never seen anything like it. It's just peach and black. I like neutrals. So I just got this package and I figured why not add it to the video and just show you guys. This is from Nail Addict while we're reviewing small businesses. A little UV lamp. Six little like, or five, I don't know. I can't do math. Colors. We have a yellow. Have a light purple. This one's really cute. This would definitely be my shade. We have a dark blue, a like bubble gummy pink. This one's called Tiger Bomb and one called Pink Princess. This one is also very, very cute. So yeah, I figured I'd include that because this is pretty cool and I'm excited to try them out. As always, I have not tried these yet, but when I do, I will update you guys on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow the gram. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it. And that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing and trying out some small Instagram businesses so that you don't have to you're welcome let me know in the comments what your favorite small businesses are on Instagram so that I can hit them up and hopefully try them out for you guys as well um or anything you've been wanting to try out I will try it out first for you guys I think this is like a really fun type of video just because supporting local is something that I'm pretty passionate about right now I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big like um I'm gonna share with you guys my Starbucks order from today Starbucks order of the day because I just got my coffee delivered this is heaven in a cup. It's a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with two pumps of toffee nut syrup. 
and light ice. Light ice is key, guys, to anything you get at Starbucks, because don't get ripped off. Highly recommend trying it. I love you all, and I hope you have an amazing day, uh, week, month. Be kind to yourself and kind to others, and I will talk to you later. Bye. I love you. I feel like a businesswoman. I don't know what to do with myself. I have been living in this. Why does little honey kind of slap?